What's going on, y'all? So I know it's a little bit lopsided, but this is what I have to deal with right now. So I wanted to show y'all really quick just how to varnish a painting. It's super simple. Um, you only need a total of three things. You need your painting that's completed, completely dry. Make sure you just press on the painting, um, the thickest part of it. Be sure that uh, no places are wet whatsoever. And you're going to be sure that they're dry completely throughout the entire thing. This has been drying for probably about two, three months. And it has no spots where it really gives. And that's, you just gently press down on it. And if it gives, the paint, I mean, not the canvas. The canvas gives all the time, as you can see. But just the paint. If the paint gives, that's what, that's uh, an indicator that you need to let it dry for a little bit. But when it's completely solid, when it's completely dry, that's when you go ahead and get yourself some nice gloss varnish. I use um, just a, a completely clear, completely clear gloss varnish. And what I've done with that, I poured a little bit in to this little cup here to where I can stick a brush in, almost like, almost like a paint, like little, um, it, the consistency is like water. I don't know if y'all can see this without me dumping it, but it's completely clear. It's very soluble. Um, what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna take your brush, get a thin amount on your, on your, on your brush, and be sure to like wipe it off until you see barely any just any of this gloss varnish kind of dripping down the cup. That's when you start and um, start painting it. And if it runs down, that's typically a sign that you've got too much. If it's just sticking on there, that's a good sign that you did the right amount. And the way you do this, here's the biggest key. I don't know if y'all can see it, but right here there's a little line where it looks like it's got water on it, like it's wet. That little line is your indicator for where you've already put some varnish on it. That's what your key is. You're going to pay attention to that line. And the way to do that is just kind of like holding it up to the light. In my case, I kind of have to look at it from a very close to the edge angle. And I turn it like that. So in your else case, it would look like this. Kind of play with it a little bit until you can see it just right. And then you follow that line. Don't ever go over the top of that same line unless, uh, unless you see a spot where there's like no varnish. And then you just go back and correct it. Don't try not to go over the varnish or over the places you've already put varnish on it. And that's it. It's real simple. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I've been messing around with it for the past 45 minutes, trying to figure out how best, how it best works. I've seen multiple videos on it for the past um, few weeks. Just done a little bit of research here and there whenever I have time. So there you go. I thought I would share that with y'all. I hope y'all are blessed by this, and I hope y'all's paintings look phenomenal when they're done. Oh, and real quick, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when they're finished. So this, look at that. So the cool thing about it, what it does, is it makes it look much more saturated. So just a quick example of one that's not saturated versus one that is. So this one is not saturated. This one has a lot more saturation in it. And that's because I put the varnish on it. And um, it just brings out the color. It just makes it look a lot better than it, it was. So I'll post up like a before and after picture of this guy right here. And then um, just to give you all an example of what it looks like uh, before and what it looks like after. And the benefits from using that real quick, um, the benefits from using varnish I have recently discovered is it not only brings out the color, it makes it look like really nice, it brings out the color in it, but it also brings out um, a protective coat onto this thing. So if you've got any sort of hair or dust that flies around your studio, 
like I do. I do all the time. It'll protect it from that once it's completely dry. And it's really easy to, uh, to remove. You just uh, use something called Gamzol, and you can just buy that online. It's just a chemical that you gently use a paper towel or like a rag or something and just remove it off of it. And then you can go back, put another coat on once a year or maybe every six months. Because it's uh, because this is the good stuff, this is uh, going to last a year. So I recommend any chance you get, get a coat of varnish on it, and then you get to look at a much prettier looking painting. That's it. Hope that blesses y'all. Have a good day.